Okay, everybody. What I would like you to learn today is how to focus on your audience, how to get the most when you talk about your message, but having your audience and in the first place, thinking about them. Now, why would we need this type of information? Many of us spend our lives in a struggle to define ourselves and how we relate to our surroundings. We each try to find our voice and our personal message to the world. This video cannot help you know who you are, but it can help you communicate your message, your talents, your ambitions, your goals, your perceived contribution to your community, to those around you, and to do so simply and clearly. None of us exist in a vacuum. Human history isn't the story of individuals. It's the story of how individuals have interacted with others. Our identity is determined to a great extent by how we see ourselves impacting other people. In short, your simple and clear message is dictated in part by the world around you. Your message to the world is your message connecting you to the world. We're all basically self-focused. That's an innate human trait. That's not a bad thing. In fact, it helps us survive. But it is also the leading cause of our miscommunication. Our instinctive approach to communicating is to speak to others from our own perspective rather than from theirs. Conversely, we also listen to others through our personal filters, making assumptions and hearing ideas through the prisms of personal experience. Because each of us has a unique path through life, communicating from that personal experience immediately creates a disconnect between us and others. This disconnect is what leads to miscommunication. If we want to improve our ability to connect with others, to understand them, and to be understood more clearly, the easiest and most effective way to do so is to focus less on ourselves and more on the other person. This is the single most significant differentiator we can apply to our communicational skills to improve our effectiveness. When we communicate, instead of thinking, what am I trying to convey? We should ask ourselves, why is this person reading my email or attending this meeting? What do they hope to get out of this presentation? If we put the focus on what the other person is trying to gain from the exchange, we will do a better job communicating. Because we will select more pertinent information, drill down to the desired level of detail, and make the information we are sharing more accessible to our audience. Now, it's easy to say, focus on your audience. But it's hard to put that concept into practice, I know. Overall, when you communicate with people, you can talk about one of three things. You can talk about yourself, you can talk about your content, you can talk to the audience about the audience. Now, newsflash, your audiences don't care about you. Nothing personal, but they don't. In fact, they don't really care about your content either. They care about how your content impacts them, which is different from your content in self. If you want to connect with your audience, minimize how much you talk about yourself or your content and only talk about those things to the extent that they impact your audience's needs. What does this mean in execution? Listen carefully to speakers at the next meeting you attend. I guarantee that almost every speaker will start with the words. What I want to talk about today is, think about that line, what I want. Almost every speaker starts talking by telling his or her audience that this meeting is all about the speaker and what he or she wants. You can't get more self-centered than that. Think about the subtle but impactful change in tone if instead of starting with what I want, you start with you're all here today because you're concerned about X. I thought it would be helpful to you if we spent a few minutes talking about this. The minute we start with helpful to you, we have told our listeners very directly that we have put all of our energy into serving them. We're focused on them, not on ourselves. More importantly, as we plan what we are going to say, structuring our notes or putting together our PowerPoint slides, if we keep thinking, helpful to you, helpful to this person, we challenge what we share and the way we share it. Am I sharing this information because I know it and find it interesting? Am I sharing it because I did all this work and I'm too busy or lazy to change it for this audience? Or am I sharing this information because I genuinely think it's helpful to this audience? Being helpful to the audience is the only legitimate reason for sharing the information. If you think of what you have to share in terms of how it impacts others, 
your message about yourself changes. Your message to the world is not about yourself, but about how you impact the world. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you people liked it. Let's connect on LinkedIn. Let's schedule a quick call, quick chat, quick coffee to see how we can work together on different communicational topics.